where a lot of women I'm hearing have problems, and I did too, and I wanna share this with you. Getting enough protein on a vegan plant-based diet, basically without getting fat. Hi guys, Shelly Pelly, Annie Parker Confidential. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're brand new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am a healthy lifestyle influencer and creator. And in this channel, we specifically focus on beauty, style, and wellness for all of us women who are 40 and over. My objective is the same as it's really always been, and that's to help other women live their best, most amazing life, looking and feeling amazing from the inside out. Bow 18 months ago, I went totally plant-based vegan. And I did that after reading, um, I think I've probably shared with you, the Beauty Detox book. You can tell that I've read it because I have it dog-eared. It was so inspiring when you learn about what eating meat and eating dairy actually does to not only the inside of your body, but to the outside as well. And it comes out in our physique and our skin and our vibrancy. So I went totally plant-based vegan. I recently incorporated seafood back into my diet and I wanted to share with you why. I honestly had been having some struggles and challenges going completely vegan plant-based. If you're vegan plant-based too, then I know that a lot of you are, I'm really curious as to your experiences too. Let me say that overall, I really love plant-based. My skin looks more amazing than it pretty much ever has, but what it really boiled down to is that a lot of protein sources are very carbohydrate rich and or extremely calorie dense. Think of nuts and seeds. Very good for you, but they're very calorie dense. Um, I've been an athlete my whole life, and so I like to get a good 90 to 95 grams of protein per day. That's just for me. You may like to do differently. That's what I found was sort of the magic number to help me maintain lean muscle mass and to give me kind of like the energy to get through my workouts. In order to do that, I was having to eat so many starchy carbs that it was making me a little chunkier than what I like to be. So when I took that away, I wasn't getting enough protein in my diet. And this is what happened. You guys, I got so flipping tired. I'm kind of known among friends and family for having a very high level of energy, type A personality, go, 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 go. And I can tell you, I would be working on my laptop and I couldn't control it. I would just doze off and fall asleep. I was struggling to get to working out three days a week. And it was so unlike me. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why am I so tired? Long story short, I went to have my blood work done which I do every once in a while. I was so low in vitamin B complex and in a myriad of other vitamins that it really basically came back to, I wasn't getting the nutrients that I need and I certainly wasn't getting anywhere near the level of protein that I needed. And so I really struggled with it because I'm thinking, how do plant-based vegans get enough protein while still maintaining their weight and their energy and their lean muscle mass definition? And the more and more research I started to do, the more that I saw that a lot of women were having some of the same issues and challenges, what I personally did is I thought, okay, listen, I am going to incorporate some seafood back into my diet because I need that lean protein. Over a period of time of not eating enough protein, not only did I lose the energy to work out, but things that I always took for granted, like having nice sculpted arms, suddenly I'm looking in the mirror and they were just flat, flaccid with no definition and I thought well okay is that because I'm 53 and what the F is this going on and then I thought you know what no I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do the excuse of well you're 53 years old something's going on so I incorporated seafood back into my diet I have it probably four times a week I started doing this about four to five weeks ago within about three and a half to four weeks it's really just like my body had complete muscle memory the definition came back my energy energy levels gradually started taking a tick upwards, go up, up, up. I was becoming less and less tired during the day. My strength gradually came back. I'm probably at about 90% of my strength. So here's what a typical day looks like for me now incorporating seafood. I always start off with my same green smoothie in the morning. I always have a latte. I'm not giving that up with almond milk. For lunch, I have a big, huge, salad and that incorporates green
greens, seeds, avocado, good fats, and that averages 15 to 20 grams of protein. That's usually pretty filling for me, but I wanna get a lot of my protein in. So I will make a low calorie protein shake. I use the plant-based um, TB, plant-based, let me get it for you, I'm gonna show you. It's this stuff, and I'll put the link for you below. It's actually Tom Brady's brand, and you know that he and um, Giselle are plant-based vegans. I don't know how she stays up, and I'll be honest with you. And I put this in a shake with some almond milk, uh, half a banana, maybe some almond butter, maybe not, and some ice. I have to tell you, this is actually very, very, very delicious. This is uh, 24 grams of, of protein, so now I'm up to 44. And then at night is when I will incorporate my seafood. And I'll either have a nice piece of salmon or white fish. I always load most of my plate up with a lot of vegetables. The fish that I'm having is about another 24 grams of protein as well. So I'm up to about 75, 82. That's pretty darn close to my 90 gram goal. I feel stronger. I feel like I'm almost back to my normal energy levels. My muscle definition has come back almost completely. And so that has been my experience. But I really wanna know what you think. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, Channel, please consider subscribing and if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps my video rankings and I would greatly appreciate it okay y'all I'll see you next time so long